glass, it will escape their perception. Those who will see it will be thought of as insane. We will create separate fronts to prevent them from seeing the connection between us. We will behave as if we are not connected to keep the illusion alive. Our goal will be accomplished one drop at a time, so as to never bring suspicion upon ourselves. This will also prevent them from seeing the changes as they occur. We will always stand above the relative field of their experience. For we know the secrets of the Absolute. We will work together, always, and will remain bound by blood and secrecy. Death will come to he who speaks. We will keep their lifespan short and their minds weak while pretending to do the opposite. We will use our knowledge of science and technology in subtle ways so that they will never see what is happening. We will use soft metals, aging accelerators and sedatives in food and water. Also in the air. They will be blanketed in poison everywhere they turn. The soft metals will cause them to lose their minds. We will promise to find a cure from our many friends. Yet we will feed them more poison. The poisons will be absorbed through their skin and mouths. They will destroy their minds and reproductive systems. From all this, their children will be born dead. And we will conceal this information. The poisons will be hidden in everything that surrounds them. In what they drink, eat, breathe, and wear. We must be ingenious in dispensing the poisons. For they can see far. We will teach them that the poisons are good with fun images and musical tones. Those they look up to will help. We will enlist them to push our poisons. They will see our products being used in film and will grow accustomed to them and will never know their true effect. When they give birth, we will inject poisons into the blood of their children and convince them it is for their help. We will start early on, when their minds are young. We will target their children with what children love most, sweet things. When their teeth decay, we will fill them with metals that will kill their mind and steal their future. When their inability to learn has been affected, we will create medicine that will make them sicker and cause other diseases for which we will create yet more medicine. We will render them docile and weak before us by our power. They will grow depressed, slow and obese. And when they come to us for help, we will give them more poison. We will focus their attention towards money and material goods so that the many never connect with their inner self. We will distract them with fornication external pleasures and games so that they may never be one with the oneness of it all. Their minds will belong to us and they will do as we say. If they refuse, we shall find ways to implement mind-altering technology into their lives. We will use fear as our weapon. We will establish their governments and establish opposites within we will own both sides. We will always hide our objective but carry out our plan. They will perform the labor for us and we shall prosper from their toil. Our families will never mix with theirs. Our blood must be pure always, for it is the way. We will make them kill each other when it suits us. We will keep them separated from oneness by dogma and religion. We will control all aspects of their lives and tell them what to think and how. We will guide them kindly and let them think they are guiding themselves. 
We will foment animosity between them through our factions. When a light shall shine among them, we shall extinguish it by ridicule or death, whichever suits us best. But if they ever find out they are our equal, we shall perish then. This they must never know. If they ever find out that together they can vanquish us, they will take action. They must never, ever find out what we have done. For if they do, we shall have no place to run. For it will be easy to see who we are once the veil is fallen. Our actions will have revealed who we are, and they will hunt us down. And no person shall give us shelter. This is the secret covenant by which we shall live the rest of our present and future lives. For this reality will transcend many generations and lifespans. This covenant is sealed by blood. Our blood. We, the ones who from heaven to earth came. This covenant must never, ever be known to exist. It must never, ever be written or spoken of. For if it is, the consciousness it will spawn will release the fury of the Prime Creator upon us. And we shall be cast to the depths from whence we came. And remain there until the end of time of infinity itself.